What day is coming up? Earth Day. Earth Day, yeah, it's on Sunday, and we thought it would be exciting or fun to celebrate Earth Day by drawing the Earth. Yeah. Now, we've already drawn the Earth, and we'll leave a link in this video where you can check that out, but we're gonna do it a little different today. What shape are we gonna draw the Earth? A heart. Yeah, we're gonna draw it as a heart, and we're also gonna draw some other fun things with it. So we hope you're excited, and you're gonna follow along. You got a marker and some Papa. Some paper. Papa. Let's start by drawing a heart shape right in the middle of our paper. And we can draw a big curve that comes around like this and then down. And then we're gonna draw that same shape over here and come down and touch down at the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. Can you draw a heart shape? We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw that big shape that comes down. And so a big curve and then a point down at the bottom. Oh yeah, that's a big heart. I like it. Awesome, then we're gonna draw another one over here on this side. Yeah, <laughs> that is the coolest looking skinny. heart. Skinny. Not skinny. <laughs> the opposite, chubby. <laughs> chubby. Now we're also gonna draw a funny face on our earth. So we're gonna draw a big eye over here and I'm gonna draw a big circle over here for the other eye. Yeah, then one on the other side. And then inside of this, we could draw a smaller circle in the top right, and even smaller circle down in the bottom left. And if we ever go too fast, or you guys at home can pause the video if you need extra time. Now, we're also gonna fast forward. We're gonna color in the big circle, but leave the two little circles white. Now let's draw the Earth's mouth. I'm gonna draw a smile because we've got a happy Earth, right? And I'm gonna also draw a big U-shape underneath so it'll look really happy. <laughs> then inside we could draw a little curve for the tongue and then color in the top part. It just looks like a regular heart and we need to turn it into the earth. So we're gonna draw the ground, we're gonna draw the land, and we're also gonna draw the water. First, we're gonna draw a little curve that comes down like this and it cur curves in and comes down towards the point. Yeah. Now you can also draw, let's draw it down a little further down to this point. So you can keep going further down. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw another curve. It's gonna come down like this. So it comes close. It, right here, we're gonna come down to there. Then I'm gonna draw another curve that comes out and it's gonna come around through the mouth and then down and connect to the point. So we're gonna start here, we can go through the mouth and then down and connect the, to the bottom. Good, and then keep going. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down and connects down to the bottom. Good job. All right, now let's also draw some more land over here on the right side. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes through the eye like this and back. And then right down here at the bottom, I'm gonna curve back the other direction and then connect to the end of our heart. Yeah. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished our earth heart. It looks really cool. And if you guys want, you could add more shapes for different countries and stuff. But we're gonna leave it really simple, just like this. Yeah. Now, let's draw some clouds. Over here, I'm gonna draw a bumpy popcorn line. And then some of the lines are big, some of the bumps are little. Looks like a little popcorn shape. And you could draw that right here on the corner. Draw some bumps, and then connect it in. Now we're gonna draw another one up here. I'm gonna draw it up at the top. I'm gonna draw another bumpy line for another cloud up here. And I'm also, I'm gonna add a little one right here at the bottom and maybe a bigger one over here. <laughs> Do you wanna add two more shapes down here? Yeah. What's our earth missing? The sun. The sun. Let's draw another shape up here. We're gonna draw a circle right above our earth. Yeah. Then we can also draw the rays coming out from our sun 
and I'm gonna draw a bunch of U's. Look at this, one U, more U's. Some of the U's can be small or big. And this is for the rays coming out of our sun. And you can even have some of those rays going behind the earth or even the, behind the clouds. Do you wanna do that? Go around and draw a bunch of views. It, it looks also like water, like waves on the ocean. Now we realize that if we turn the paper, it makes it a little easier to make those shapes all the way around the circle. Yeah. What should we draw on our sun? Funny face. <laughs> a funny face. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw smaller circles since the sun is further away. I'm gonna draw two circles and they're smaller. I'm gonna draw really small circles inside. This, these little white circles are for the reflection in our eyes, our cartoon eyes, so they look shiny and super friendly. Yeah. Then I'm also gonna draw a smile in between the eyes. I think we should add one more thing to our drawing. What do you think we should add? A moon. A moon? Okay, let's draw another circle right here. I'm gonna draw behind this cloud. So I'm only gonna draw part of it. Ooh, our moon is bigger than our sun. I don't, I don't, I think it should be smaller, but that's okay. <laughs> Good, and then I'm gonna add those little circles for the eyes. And I'm also gonna color them in, but leave a small little white reflection so our moon eyes look friendly too. And then we're gonna add a smile. I'm gonna add smile plus the moon is gonna be really happy. <laughs> and then you can also add a tongue and color it in just like we did for the earth. The last thing we need to do to our moon is add craters. So I'm gonna add circles to make it look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna add one more circle. Now it looks like our moon. Good job, add a couple more. <laughs> we did it, Austin, good job, man. We still need to do one last thing, what is it? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look much better once we color it. And this part we're gonna fast forward, but remember you can pause it at the end to match the same color. Good job, Austin. You did a great job on coloring your earth. I love how it turned out. Now, why do you think we drew the earth in the shape of a heart? Because we love the earth. Yes, we love the earth. And it's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to? Practice. Practice. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you forgot to tell them about your new thing. Fell out. Your tooth fell out. It's all gone. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.